session. Um, John, would you please do the honor tonight of our personnel listings? Uh, yes, uh, Madam President, I have some resignations, several to present for you uh, this evening. And they're as follows. Uh, Alexandria Denton, Perry Skater Action Middle School, effective November 11, 2021. Uh, Jody Stillwell, Assistant High School Volleyball Coach, Action High School, effective at the end of this 2021-22 school year. Liz Harris, Head High School Volleyball Coach, Action High School, effective at the end of the 21-22 school year. Uh, Catherine Estes, Perry Skater Action High School, effective May 26, 22, for purposes of retirement. Uh, Reagan McGee, Perry Educator Action Middle School, effective uh, December 3rd, 2021. Um, Ann Smith, Perry Educator Action Elementary School, effective uh, December 16, 2021. Um, next is Carly Chase, Perry Educator Action High School, effective 12 10 21. Uh, next is uh, Ethel, she goes by Lynn Ball. ISS teacher and National Honor Society sponsor effective at the end of the 2021 school year, 22 school year for purposes of retirement. And finally, Ashley Funk, fourth grade lunch supervisor spring, Atchison Elementary School effective December 17, 2021. May I have a second on those, please? Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, raise your right hand, please. Pass this unanimously. Thank you so much. Next. Next is uh, recommendations for employment for the 21-22 school year. First is Catherine Johnson for COVID tester for the district effective 11-15-21. Uh, this is a two-year position. And then Tina Denton, custodian at Ashton Middle School effective 11-29-21. Awesome, may I have a second? I'll second. Thank you so much, any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you so much. Next, transfers. Uh, two of them. First is Peyton Niggis, transfer from kindergarten special education teacher to Atchison Elementary School to the for to ninth, twelfth through twelfth grade special education teacher at at Atchison High School, effective January third, twenty twenty two. I hope that makes sense. And number two is Annalise uh, Shelvin. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Transfer from kindergarten teacher at Action Elementary School to kindergarten SPED teacher at Action Elementary School, effective January 3rd, 2022. Um, may I have a second, please? I'll second. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, raise your right hand. And lastly, supplementals. Uh, three of them. The first is uh, Taylor Funk, assistant wrestling coach at Action High School. Number two is Elliot Smith, eighth grade lunch supervisor at AMS. And number three is Peyton Niggis, women's assistant wrestling coach at AHS. And second. I'll second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, raise your right hand, please. Uh, next, before we go on, uh, I just have, we have a little something for you, Dr. John. Uh, this is for Dr. John Epley in recognition of your 12 years of outstanding service as a school board member for USD 409 Atchison Public School. Um, this is going to be awarded in January, but we wanted to go on and give it to you now. And I personally want to thank you for all your work that you've done with the board. You've been a great mentor. You've been a great friend to this district. You have given abundantly and you, it was wonderful to work side by side with you. So will you join me please? Representative, and, and I will say Jerry Henry's uh, timely stepping away from the post health 
But uh, I was very, very frustrated in my first year or two on this board as we, Diane and Carrie and I, saw how funding was cut over and over, making uh, running a, a public school district very, very challenging, and at that time for then Dr. Myers, who, who held our superintendency position. And so I decided to run for state office and find out what in the heck was going on that, that they were allowed to do this. And I found out, and uh, then worked the next two years after getting elected to correct that, and I'm, I'm happy to say that we got that corrected. And this is not a commercial for me as representative, but I just want people to understand that, that we worked hard to get schools adequately and equitably funded. And we've accomplished that going forward, at least through 2023, and we'll see what happens. Um, Having said that, when I came on this board, I, I was really amazed that we were not more tech savvy, and I was so happy to be part of the group of, of uh, board members that allowed us to become state of the art then in, in uh, tech and digital uh, education. And I, I hope that we'll always keep our eye on that and try to be uh, at least keeping up, if not keeping at the head of the, the class on digital and technology. I was also on the board when we were able to do a it was really slick. We did a, 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 a bond levy and, and improved the, that we improved the quality of this structure and we, that we're sitting in, and we did uh, updates on the high school and some other things, and we didn't have to raise the mill levy. We did it through refinancing debt, and it was a pretty neat uh, way to uh, get a lot of things that we needed to complete this district. Having said that, we all know there are ongoing needs, and that will be ongoing. I want to say also as a point of uh, serving on this board for 12 years, this board is not a rubber stamp board. We have times when we don't agree, and that's nothing more apparent than during the time when we first did the uh, mascot discussion, and we did not agree, and we did not pass the mascot change four years ago. And then we brought it back this last year, and, and we did come to consensus and agreement, and hence we have the Phoenix, and I'll say for the record, we not all agreed on that name, but we went forward with it, majority rules and we are the Phoenix and we're united behind that name and that's awesome. Uh, so, and then on the issue of transparency, I think we go out of our way to provide transparency in this district in that we allow people to serve on site councils. We have outside people that serve on the facilities council, I know that, on, on those uh, committees. And we just need to make sure we, we make those opportunities known to the public so they have input and so that we're always reaching out to the public so they're aware. I think it's your job to always make sure that you're engaging the public so that they feel listened to and that we're not dictating uh, policies from above uh, right. to them. Um, I, I know, <laughs> I think I can say this with a very clear conscience, I leave this board with a, with, with a very good person taking my place and, <laughs> and I, have, I, have, uh, I have no concerns about uh, vacating, vacating my premises, but you have to roll your eyes at this one. As your state legislator, I still will be back to, to haunt you periodically, probably <laughs> just once a year. So I thank you for this recognition and I look forward uh, to uh, just continuing my role just as your state legislator. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.